everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter, a channel for anyone interested in finding bargains for as little as a dollar and flipping them for profit. Every few years, I put something up on auction and think, this is gonna do really well. This is a great auction item. And then it's done. This episode is a tale of two teacups. One that went to auction and then the other that did not. So stay tuned. First, I wanna give a shout out to Olivia in Edmond, Oklahoma, who I understand was watching one of my videos and turned to her mom and said, hey, I wanna make some extra money by selling things on eBay. So great, Olivia, congratulations. Welcome to the club. You're gonna do great. And I'm so excited for you. So many people here on, on YouTube inspired me to get into this, and I'm so glad I could inspire you. So have fun with it and totally enjoy it. As a teenager, you're gonna do great. I wish this was around when I was a teenager, but unfortunately, we just had cable. That was it, yeah, pretty much. In my last episode, I talked about uh, the two teacups I bought. Uh, this one for $3.99, this one for $4.99. Uh, at the same place, they're both Royal Albert, heavy brushed gold. This one I found, the name was uh, called Marguerite uh, Blue Daisies, uh, which I have up for sale or best offer for $125. There are two other Royal Albert Marguerites up for sale. One is for $140 and the other one is 106. It was discounted. Uh, so I put mine up for 125. I've thrown out some offers uh, to the five watchers, but no one is uh, bitten yet. Every few years, I decide to put something up on auction. I think to myself, this is the piece. I'm gonna put it on auction and see what happens. Um, I know a lot of people do auctions and that's all they do, but I have always been a little bit like, no, I can't do it. You know, I've seen what's happened to people where they put something up on auction and they start the bidding at 99 cents and it sells for 99 cents. And you're like, okay, that sucks, right? So I saw this one and I thought, well, I've got two teacups. I know what this one is, the blue one is. I am going to put that up for sale for a price or best offer. This one, I couldn't really find um, any information uh, about it. There were a lot of similar patterns, but it looks like one that I found, but that one was in yellow. And um, I think it's called Old English Rose or something like that. I thought to myself, well, I think I'm going to, you know, try this as an auction. I mean, the sky's the limit, right? It could be something really valuable. And, you know, there's a lot of teacup people out there. Here's a good look at it. And there are markings below. And oh, there it is. Um, well, I read up on auctions again because I'm just not that savvy with them. I just don't feel comfortable with them. The biggest thing that I read up on was that you wanted to end on a Sunday. That's when everyone is, more people are looking on Sundays at things on eBay uh, than any other day of the week. So this auction started on a Tuesday and it was going to end on Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Prime time for eBay, great timing. Well, according to a lot of things I've read, a 10-day auction is better. And to start it on a Thursday, because then you have two Sundays, it'll go through. Um, and I guess get the excitement up over this teacup. I ended up uh, saying to myself, no, I'm just gonna do five days. I just wanna get it out. And you know, if there's a lot of people that are interested in it, great. Initially, when I started the auction, um, I had about five or six watchers right away. And then by the weekend, 
um, it was up to 12. So I thought, this is great. I'm gonna have some, a couple people bid on it. And I started the bidding at $25, uh, which I thought to myself, I bought it for $3.99, that's fine. I'm making money on, on it. But in retrospect, I probably should have started the bidding at 40 and then I'd be really comfortable with the outcome, whatever it may be. Hey, while you're here, could you tap the like button and hit subscribe? It helps me in the channel. Thanks so much. So as Sunday night wore on, I, I was getting very excited because I thought, well, wow, there's 12 people that are interested in this teacup. And then as the minutes counted down, and I know people always wait till the last seconds to put their bid in so that they can win. Um, I thought, okay, in the last 20 seconds, it's going to be dog eat dog. People are going to be just putting their bids in. At four seconds down, I was like, oh, well, it's probably not going to, not going to sell which is fine, then I could just put it up on a regular, you know, for sale for 40 or 50 bucks. So in the last three seconds, someone puts an offer in of $25 and it's sold for $25. I paid $4 for the teacup and saucer. I'm selling it for 25, I'm making a profit on it. But I've also learned a big lesson. I'm not going to do this again. A few years when I think I'm going to put something on auction, I need to remind myself that they don't always go well. And thank God I didn't start it at a really low price of 99 cents because I'd be really pissed off right now. But I think that the buyer got a good deal and um, I still made a profit, so I should be happy. And I am. Um, my mother's not though. She's like, you should have put it up for higher. Well, shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? You live and learn. And I've learned something about this that I will probably not do an auction again. Why don't you guys leave a comment and tell me what you feel about auctions? I see it all the time. You know, the, the thing that bothers me the most is when I'm looking for comps on any item. You know, I'll see things say, uh, I don't know, some kind of dish, and there's 10 of them. You see like four or five of them, people put on auction, and they started the bidding at $1.99. And of course, one of them sells for $1.99, so all the comps go down, right? So the regular ones that sold, sold for, you know, 25 or $30. And then you see these four or five that sell for like, five or six dollars and you're like come on you know just put it up for a price that is comparable to the other ones that have sold right like the rest of us do but we all try it we all try auctions and you know I one auction which I've talked about in another video which was a jade snuff bottle that I started the uh, price at $750. Well, that sold for over $2,000. So no problem with that. I bought it for a dollar, made a huge, huge profit on it. It was great. But it's these items that I'm kind of, I guess, just unsure of, and I need to really educate myself a little bit more about the auction process. But at least I started the bidding at $25. I didn't do something where it was 99 cents or $1.99 where I'd be really upset right now. I'd be really like, okay, that sucks. But definitely leave me some comments about your auctions and what you do because I feel like I just am not doing it right with uh, certain items. But with anything in, in reselling, you're constantly learning new things. I'm learning about new items. I, I, don't, I don't really deal in teacups very often. I did sell one a few weeks ago that I bought for $4 and I sold for 46. But, uh, you know, it's not my thing. It's not something that I'm really, you know, very much into. I'm gonna, you know, ship this one out today and I'm sure the buyer is gonna be very happy with it. It's really pretty. 
and um, I've learned something. I'm gonna continue trying to find those items that I can sell for a price or best offer. Um, the other teacup is up for $125. There's five watchers on it and I'm just gonna wait till someone makes an offer and uh, go from there. But yeah, auction's not for me, I think. It's just not my, not my thing. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this episode, please tap the like button and if so inclined, please subscribe. Until next time, keep on thrifting.